the problem that we're going to solve is we're going to determine the cross-section dimension, we're going to call that B, of a uniform square bar of structural steel that has a, st a tensile strength of 33,000 psi. If the bar carries a center load of 1,000 pound force as a beam with a span of 24 inches with simply supported ends. So what we're looking to do is we're going to use both the allowable stress and the ultimate strength methods to determine the required dimension. Okay. Now some input parameters or some given parameters, we're going to look at the yield strength, okay, S sub Y, and you can see that that's actually given as uh, 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 33,000 pound force per square inch. Okay, again, MathCAD allowing us to have units on our terms. The center load itself is the 1,000 pounds. We're going to call that, that's W. And then finally, we're going to say the beam span itself, as defined in the problem, it's a 24-inch beam, right? So the calculation procedures that we're going to follow. First, we're going to uh, design first on the basis of allowable stress. Now, it's going to actually look up into a table here, so we say from... Uh, table 61 in the section of buildings, the uh, working or allowable stress is given by S sub W is actually 0 .0, uh, 0.06 S sub Y. So if we double click on that, it will actually bring us to that specific table. In, he in here, under the materials, you can see for structural steel, you'll see that the allowable stress, which is S sub W, is actually equal to uh, 0.6 uh, S, S sub Y. Also, you're going to see here uh, the, appro the uh, approximate face, uh, factor of safety is actually 1.7 for beams. Okay, we're going to use those numbers later. So back to our original equation where we got that um, uh, 0.6 S sub Y is actually coming from that table. And that table is actually a reference from, from Rook's uh, 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 Handbook of Stress and Strain. So now we're going to uh, we, you know, design first on the base of allowable stress. There we have the allowable stress. Now we're going to compute the maximum bending moment in MathCAD. Again, these, are e these, these calculations are actually just from an existing ebook that we can simply just copy and paste, or we can actually just copy the entire calculation. So here, for a central load and simple support, the maximum bending moments is from earlier sections of the handbook calculated using the following calculations. 